When President Biden exited the race, CBS News polling had him trailing former President Trump by five points. However, now that Vice President Harris is the presumed nominee, our latest numbers show a reset. It's Harris now with a one-point edge nationally and across all the battlegrounds. CBS News Executive Director of Elections and Surveys, Anthony Salvanto, joins us now. Anthony, take us through the numbers. Hey there, Bob. The most important thing behind what you just showed is this increase in Democrats saying that they're going to vote. Once they come into the electorate like that, Democratic numbers go up. So, yeah, it goes from Biden down five to now what is effectively a neck and neck race. Right. And I'll show you one more data point on that, Bob. And that is the key part of the Democratic base. Black voters now increasingly saying they're likely to vote up to 74 percent. So that, in short, is what's moved the needle here for the Democrats, Bob. Everyone's talking about Governor Shapiro. Could he add Pennsylvania? Where are you seeing the battleground states and what matters right now? Um, I want to point this out to you, because especially in light of all that's happened today in the markets, et cetera, I want to talk about the economy. This is something that hasn't changed in this race, which is Donald Trump being seen as if he wins, he'd make people financially better off, much more so in this case than Harris. But this was the same when Biden was in the, was at the top of the ticket. So that's something I think we want to watch if Trump keeps that advantage or if Harris can cut into that in any way. I think that's really important, Bob. And what about the economy? A lot of people on edge today about the market. So what does that mean for the political scene, if well, anything? I think a couple of things. One is, um, you know, take a look at what people say they know or don't know about Harris's policy positions, because obviously she's going to want to talk about the economy, talk about inflation. Now, is the Trump campaign going to be able to connect her to it? Well, you get two thirds who figure, well, her policies and Biden's are mostly the same, but not entirely the same. So within that gap, and certainly the economy is going to fall in there within that gap, I think is a key to watch over these next couple of weeks. Who defines, you know, who defines that? Is it the Trump campaign? Is it the Harris campaign that does a better job, Bob? And when you think about the vice presidential pick going to come within the next 12, 24 hours, what are you watching? Well, here's what the voters are saying, and not all of them are political strategists, and not all of them have really, you know, strong opinions here. Some four and ten say it should be somebody from a battleground state. They're probably watching. They're watching America decides. They're political junkies. They know about that. And some say it should be liberal. Not as much whether it should be a man or a woman. Look, the key is. Are they going to be able to match the enthusiasm? Republicans were enthusiastic and still are about J.D. Vance, or at least satisfied. Most Republicans are enthusiastic or satisfied about J.D. Vance. So can the Democrats match that? History says that, yeah, at least in the short term, that they, that they will, but we'll see. Anthony, I do have to fact check you on one thing. You say the voters, not all of them are political strategists. Almost every voter I meet believes they're a political strategist. <laughs> and... <laughs> <laughs> and maybe they'll do a better job than, than anybody else, Bob. Well, everyone has their view, as they should in this country. Anthony Savanto, thank you.